hello my lovely doll so this is the place that we'll be doing today we're gonna get into this glam so keep on watching dolls like as always we're starting with a clean face and we're moisturizing but how is your week going comment down below and tell me what makeup product you put on this week to feel glam or to put a pep in your step a red lipstick perhaps some mascara or your normal routine let me know um so i applied moisturizer to a clean skin and now we're gonna head into the brow routine and today I'm using the clean color brown pencil in dark it's a I think it's the darkest one before black um so yeah I'm using that to carve out the face the brows I should say the shape of the brows and then I'm gonna go in with the usual routine with the Benefit brow paste. Yeah, so we were really having some conversation. She's new to my chair, so I get to know my clients a bit. It's part of the process, you know. She's a new mom because she was going to her baby shower, and we were just talking about motherhood being a first time mom myself. Even though he's like three now, but I'm still a first time mom because it's my first child. And so we were chopping it up while I was doing the face. So here I'm applying the Benefit Brow Pomade Brow Tint to, the, to, to shade in the brows. <laughs> them up with a little bit of the Heavenly Onis by Black Opal, this is a concealer and pod, um, so that's what I'm using to clean up the brows. And a little bit of brow tip, I did not show this in the video, but we always drag our powders out to the front of the brows so that we can get that really ombre brow so that it's not so boxy and harsh. are primed and the reason we prime our eyes is to give our shadows which is a dry consistency something to grab onto and we use a I use a lighter shade so that we can get that pigmentation that we want and yeah so we're using this palette um, and we're emphasizing the crease we're contouring the crease as we would say um, and I'm using this peachy color. I really like using warm tones in the crease. Woman of color, it just brings um, an extra oomph to our looks. So yeah, I like doing that. a 
small blending brush to go into the crease with this dark brown it is a red tone brown as well it has red undertones um so we're going in the crease to define the crease a little bit more and we're gonna as always our camera blend and re-blend these colors together <laughs> Okay, so here I'm applying a very light brown. Um, you can see at the top of the palette um, to the lid of the eyes. This step was not very necessary because I'm gonna go over it with the actual shade that I wanted, which is a shimmery shade you see later. Um, but this is, was just to blend out the edges of that brown. And here you see, as I said, we go over the colors, we go over and blend, we apply a little bit more of the, the peachy tone and the brown. And that is our process of doing a makeup. <laughs> taking my naked three palettes I believe I don't remember two or three palettes and I'm taking a pinky tone shimmer and applying it to the lid and that's why I said that the other step was not really necessary apart from wanting to blend the darker tone um, into the crease <laughs> a lighter champagne color from the Juvia's palette um, yeah you'll see it in a minute um, I decided that the pinky tones were a little bit too muted I really wanted this look to pop a lot because it's a baby shower she will be wined and dined and all these things and you know you want her to stand out and feel extra beautiful and extra glam and yeah so I applied that because I really thought the pink was a little bit too muted and yeah so we applied that shimmery more shimmery color and to the lid <laughs> I'm up 
applying the primer to our skin and I believe I'm using yeah here I'm using the Mary Kay primer silicone primer to get her skin smooth she had a little bit of texture in some areas I wanted to get her skin smooth and after that I also applied the Sasha primer as well which is more mattifying So while I wait for the primer to settle in, I'm going to line the eyes and as always, well, as you see in the last video, I applied gel, the Mer Maybelline Gel Liner to so line the eyes first and then I use a black liquid liner to make the wing and to make it more, uh, we call this exaggerated, um, if you want to say that, and more defined. Alright, so we're gonna speed through the face routine. Here I'm using the black opal foundation stick. I don't remember the shade name that I'm using right now. Um, and we're gonna use it to carve from the top of the brows because we did not do that earlier with the lighter shade. We're gonna use the foundation shade to do so. LA Girls Toast under the eyes to bring some lightness to her under eyes. After which we're gonna apply uh, the Sasha Buttercup Powder to set and bake it a little bit. I really must say that I do, do love when a client just sits in the chair and say do whatever with your face or they trust the process that you um, that you're doing because um, hey you look on our work and you decided I want to go with this makeup artist and it tends to make the work look better instead of trying to make something else that somebody else created and I know that is a very well Thing for most um, makeup artists, but yeah, um, I really do love when my clients just sit in the chair and say, Alright, go ahead, do, do the look and give me creative freedom. lowlights are aka contouring now I'm bringing some life back to her face some dimension back to her face the nose and the cheek 
bones back to her face and then I'm gonna blend out with her foundation color, foundation powder and get everything melted together. Guys, uh, see this part right here, the lining of the eyes, it's one of my not so favorite parts of doing makeup because I don't want anybody to move and clients tend to jump or fidget when you're close to that part of their eyes. I don't really, I really don't want to stick anybody in their eyes. Uh, I hear you're seeing me apply some of the colors that are in the crease the lower lash line to complete the look and then we're gonna be applying the lips so I really love doing an ombre lip because it really brings the lips forward and yeah it creates a combination of colors I like mixing colors to get a nice tone for my clients um, so that's what I'm doing here All right, so now we're putting the final touches on the look, the highlight, the low light, and guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share all the things that we're talking about. Just comment and let me know how you feel. Down the road. Don't be a stranger. This is the reveal. And guys, remember to head over to Instagram and let me know how you like this look. The pictures will be up, and remember, guys, to wear the best you for the world to see. It's Moya Lovely, and I'm signing out. Love you guys.